Hey there, I'm Sizer. I'm a boudoir photographer in Los Angeles, California, and today we're doing some more boudoir photo critiques. I was supposed to get this video out weeks ago, and I do apologize for that. I had a lot going on, but we're here now, so let's get into it. I do have to make the disclaimer these are my opinions, so take them with a grain of salt. Art is very much subjective, and the way that I would take a photo or the way that I would compose a photo is very different from the way somebody else would. So just because I say that I would do something differently doesn't mean the original person did anything wrong, okay? With that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so this photo is very sensual, very spicy, which is great. Uh, immediately, the first thing I look at, the pose itself looks really good. I like the hand and the hair. Uh, it's a little bit playful. When I pose people on their stomachs or on their sides, I often have their leg come up just like this to show a little bit of thigh. This leg appears to be straight, which is fine. If I were posing this photo, I would have the toes pointed invisible, or I would lower the camera down enough so that your head completely blocks that foot so it's not even visible. The photo is bright, I would even say overexposed, so there's highlights all over her body. So I would either remove some of the light or add some more color to the photo um, to add some more contrast because right now there's just a really white wall, really white uh, sheets, and then her skin is very bright because of how bright the light is. So that makes for highlights just everywhere. So as far as the pose, the pose is great, her eyes look great. However, they are cut in half by these uh, glasses, so I'd either push the glasses closer to the face or I would lower them just a little bit more so we have a full vision of the eyes. But other than that, this photo is really amazing, very spicy, very, very sensual, and definitely will turn some heads. It looks really good. All right, let's move on. All right, so I think this photo is fantastic. It looks great. The pose is great. The composition is pretty solid. Um, here are some things that I'm noticing. Uh, I, I love this placement of the hand on the neck. I think it's very gentle and soft. I'd probably curl the fingers just a touch, but I, honestly, the straight hand is perfectly fine. Um, I like the shadows on the cheekbones and stuff like that. However, the lighting is a little bit harsh. Uh, you can see it's very bright on the face, very bright on this, uh, this side right here. Uh, from a composition perspective, there's a lot being cut off in this photo. This elbow right here, this one's not that bad. You can get away with this crop because there's enough context on the arm for it to kind of make sense. However, this crop right here, I would definitely change. I would have brought the photo back a little bit more. I would want to see this elbow, but this hand for sure, I would not have cut off half of the hand like this. So that is something that I would change for the photo. I'd also probably not crop the head down here. I would make sure to get the full head in the photo so that you can see her hair and the, the and the finishing of her hairline and things like that. The leg crops are fine, that's perfectly okay. Down here and right here are what I would change. So in terms of the pose, I think the pose is fantastic. I think the composition could definitely use work, but the photo being up close like this looks really good. I would just make sure that um, not as much of it's getting cut off. As far as the lighting situation, uh, the lighting positioning is great. You get really amazing shadows like along the jawline and on the neck right here. Those look fantastic. It's just really, really harsh on the highlighted spots. And so I would dull down the, the lighting just a little bit. All right, so this photo looks fantastic. I'm loving this camera angle. I think this outfit's very flattering on her. So things I immediately see are this foot uh, being cut off right here. I would make sure to have that fully in the photo as well as the hair being cut off over here. That one's not quite as bad, but I would try to get uh, the full head into the photo. Uh, her face is not visible at all in this photo aside from her nose. So what I would probably do to get a little bit more of her face in this photo is have her tilt her chin towards the ceiling. Um, you don't need to get the full face in, but if I were posing this photo, I would want at least a little bit more context on the face. Other things I would change if I was posing this photo are her hand placement. I would probably make this hand a little bit more evident whether or not it's actually grabbing on this skirt. So I might move it to the side a little bit and show some of the fabric in it if she's grabbing it, which I would probably have her do. And this hand placement on the, on the knee seems a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not really sure uh, how intentional that is. If you wanna put it on a leg, I'd probably put it on this one and just bend this leg a little bit, not not as much as this one, but just bend this like a little bit and have the hand right there, or bring this hand up here somewhere along this side or on her neck. Um, but this hand on the knee placement is a little bit uncomfortable, it, it seems like, um, so I probably wouldn't put it there. So those are things that I would change with it, but honestly, this photo is really good as is. All right, so I really love this photo, and it's not just because she happens to like fairy tale and a bunch of other cartoons that I really enjoy. I think this photo looks really good. I actually thought that this was a professional shot. Uh, so things that I immediately love about this photo. I love the grain in this shot. It feels like it was shot with a film camera, which looks really awesome. I'm not sure if a filter changed her hair color purple-esque or if it's just naturally like that, but this looks really cool. 
As far as the pose goes, I wouldn't change a thing. It's a very sensual, very vulnerable pose. So I love everything about that. Things that I would change if I was shooting this, if she were comfortable with it, I would probably make this more of an implied shot by either lowering um, this, this, whatever this undergarment is, or having her sit lower down in the photo um, and just raising her arms a bit. I would love for the filter to not have changed the color of the room because that kind of draws me out of the photo a little bit, but she is super well composed in the photo. As far as her facial expression, perfect. The pose itself, perfect. The lighting is really amazing. I love everything about this photo. So this is a very good job. All right, moving on. Now this last person, I'm not sure if they're professional or not, but this is definitely a professional quality photo. So this photo is phenomenal. And I love that it's Harry Potter themed. You can tell by the Hufflepuff insignia over here, as well as the yellow towel and the champagne. Uh, so I, I think that's really, I think that's really amazing. Obviously the photo is very sensual. The angling is perfect. The lighting is perfect. I love the rays of rainbow that are on her skin. That's either coming from like a crystal or some glass that the light is coming through. So here's the few things that I would change, if any. I would probably have her fingers curled just a little bit more. However, they look fine just as is. I'd want her other leg at least slightly visible over here. Other than those two things, the pose itself is fantastic. As far as composition, the only thing I would change is I would take a half step to the left so that this wood here isn't visible. I personally would have edited this cheeks highlight to be a little bit dimmer, but other than that, completely perfect. So I don't know if the person who shot this is professional, but this photo is definitely professional quality. And yeah, great job, amazing photo. All right, so those are my critiques of some photos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I still have enough submissions to make maybe one more video. However, if you guys want me to continue this series, please be sure to check out my website, www.sizerstudio.com. You can click on submit a photo and you can submit your own photo for a review. If you like this video, please hit the like button and tell me what you thought in the comments. What did you think about the photos? Were there any critiques that I missed or that you think were just straight up wrong? If you have any questions about what it is I do or you want me to make a video about a specific topic, then leave those in the comment section as well. If you're interested in booking a photo shoot and you wanna check out my work, I am on Instagram at Sizer Studio. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.